All right, guys, so I want to show you um, your options for making connections here. Um, in our kits, we may send you this stuff right here. This is called a uh, T-Tap or a Quick Connect. And these are not recommended. I'm going to show you the recommended way here in a second. But if you have to use these, what you need to do is strip some of this insulation back. Because what happens is when you make this crimp right here, the actual um, insulation doesn't get pierced properly and make good contact with the metal. So what you want to do is strip back some of this insulation. So most of you at least have these. Take it to your 18 gauge setting or whatever wire you're working with and do this number right here, okay? And that's gonna basically break the wire and leave the insulation intact. Fresh razor blade, guys, very important. Take and make a small slit across there like that. And then boom, my wire is now exposed. You can see there's no frays, there's no nothing. If you don't have this guy, you can also take the razor blade and very carefully do that number, okay? Again, got to be a fresh blade. Okay. Fresh wire all the way around. So you would then take this. Now you're directly into the wire and crimp that guy on there. You can even do it with your f fingers now. Don't even need a pair of pliers. Now you've got good solid connection. Only way to do that right. This is the better way though right here. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna show you now is called a military splice. And when you're working with small gauge wires like this, you're, you're gonna be cool doing what I'm about to do here. Um, when you're working with a thicker gauge wire here, what you're gonna wanna do is take a pick and carefully open like that, all right? So in the military, in the field, they don't have these solder guns, which I'll talk about here in a second. So this is actually just as good. I also recommend one of these. You can get them at Radio Shack. It says it right there, Lowe's Harbor Freight. Um, great investment if you're gonna do a lot of electrical work on your vehicle. Take, strip back. See how easy that is? Otherwise, you do this number, pull it off. Now, if this were a thicker wire, what you're gonna do is insert in through here and then twist it around. If it's a small wire like this though, what we're gonna do is just twist this guy around nice and tight. Look at the spiral on that, it's nice and tight, okay? It's not going anywhere, guys. Then take your tape, don't get a big long strip, just like that, electrical tape, that's all you need. Lay the head of it right there. Twist and pull. Look how professional that looks. And it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to show you a solder. So, again, Radio Shack. These guys are like 30 bucks. 35 maybe. Again, if you're going to do some extensive electrical in your car, speakers, whatever, if you plan on doing electrical, this is the very best way to do it. Now watch what I'm going to do here actually cut this guy well, we're gonna try to anyway piece of junk I don't recommend these but whatever so we're gonna take this and I'm now going to do the exact same thing twist it Look how pretty that is. Now, this is how easy solder is, guys. Get yourself some good silver solder, okay? 
It's gotta be for electrical, automotive. There are two types of solder. You want it to be for automotive. Um, I believe this is rosin core or non-rosin core. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, heat this guy up, takes a second, put it under here and then take your solder and watch it melt. Now, all I'm gonna do is drop that on there. Boom. That thing is soldered like a banshee. It's a perfect weld. Again, tape. Just a small piece that's actually a little bit too big, but it's fine. Just start it right there on the corner. Twist and pull. And that is professional, and that's a rock solid contact. You're not gonna have any electrical issues whatsoever. So there's your electrical 101.